Klandor! 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 Oh, you're all right. Yeah, I'm all right. Well, you're supposed to be reviewing Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. All I wanted to do was take a nap. Review the game. Well, guess I'm doing a review now. Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes is the finale to the game series, or at least the prequel to the finale of the game series, which is Phantom Pain. So, let's dig into the warm-up to the finale. One important part of the game is... You're free! to do whatever you want. Well, you're free, as long as you don't get caught. But you're still free! Did you hear something? No, didn't hear a thing. Now that I snuck away from the guards and stuff, being free is a very important part of the game. But before we get into that, we need to look at the game. The game starts with a cutscene. A very long cutscene. You know, because Metal Gear. Now to avoid spoilers, let's just say that it sets off the story that they are going to tell in Phantom Pain when it comes out. When the cutscene is over and you can finally play for about 5 minutes. Why five minutes? I'll get into that later, but now that you are actually playing it, it introduces you to all the gameplay features. During the first mission, it shows you all the important gameplay mechanics that you will need to know. Like how you can rescue prisoners and take them to your helicopter for extraction. Wanna let them know I'm okay. Dude, you're not okay. Did I say helicopter? The helicopter is another main gameplay feature of the game, but dang does it take a long time to arrive. Landing zone confirmed. Roger that chopper request. It's headed your way now. What the f uh. Uh. Also, there's this boss. The mission objective is to eliminate two U.S. Marines officials. There's this one guy who helps you out, who always talks over you, or the person you're trying to listen to, that you might need to save, but he just likes to talk over you all the time. The clients are KGB contacts from my Columbia days. Don't worry, they had nothing to do with Zdornov. They lost a lot of comrades to the eye and the finger. However, there is one thing about doing a stealth mission in broad daylight. It's just so much more horrifying than a horror game. It just makes me so scared. While playing the game, there are multiple ways to take care of enemies. Shoot them in the head. Shoot them in the head with a trank. Shoot them with a trank. Sneak up on them and shoot them. Or sneak up on them and slam them. Or if you want a more personal touch in murdering people, you can always grab them and hold them. This brings up a few options, like forcing them to tell you something, knocking them out, or just straight up murder. Speak. Gee, Snake, don't hold so tight, they can't talk if you hold that tight. Now, I think it's worthy to note that it's kind of complicated to knock out people at first. You don't just hold the right trigger, you have to mash it. Ah. 
Ahem. It just seemed confusing and weird to me at first. That's why I stuck to just murdering people. Or maybe I'm just dumb and I couldn't figure it out. One thing I noticed while playing is that enemies get up after you knock them out. Sometimes. Maybe. I'm not sure why, but sometimes the enemies just seem to get up when there's no one there to revive them. Maybe it's me, though. One thing I like to do in the game is play a nice game of touch the butt. You look for as many people to knock out, and then you touch their butt. Dolphin dive! Another important gameplay feature. Now that I've gone over the main gameplay features, back when I said... When the cutscene is over, you can finally play the game for about five minutes. What I meant about that is, the game is short, like, really short. You can easily beat the game in 15 to 20 minutes if you know what you're doing. Now, I suck at being stealthy, so the first few missions it took me, well, let's just say, too long. Now sure, it took me a while to do it at first, but that's mostly because I suck at being stealthy. Once I got used to it and knew what I was doing, I could fly through the missions like that. That's why I said for about 5 minutes. Sure, there are other missions, but they all take place in the same place. Sure, they mix things up by having day missions and moving people around and having different objectives. But it's still just the same map. Now, I'm going to give you guys a Clandor Pro Tip. Checkpoints! You can raise all the hell you want and have alarms blaring and be completely screwed. Then checkpoint. Done. All problem solved. If you need to kill someone, run up to them, shoot them in the face, then checkpoint. He will be dead and you will be all good. Now, for those of you who don't know, the voice of Snake got replaced on this game. Kept you waiting, huh? The guy who replaces the voice of Snake does a good job. Honestly, if I didn't know that they changed it, I probably wouldn't have noticed it. Hey man, how are you? You know, I've been pretty good. You know, I've been doing some stuff recently. No job yet or nothing, but you know, I'm I'm feeling like pretty hopeful about some things, you know? But <sighs> the economy and stuff, and I don't know if I have too, so much time to be looking for a job when I'm like going out to play video. I, like, I have, I have to play oh, video games, yeah, man. man. Oh, yeah. Now, since this is a stealth game, most people might not think that there is much action, but you can always go in Guns of Blazing, which makes the game have more action. But there is also some action levels that give the game a nice change of pace. However, I found that the shooting in the game is a bit awkward at first. The way the shooting in the game is pretty standard, but it does some things new that I've never personally done in a video game before, but it does fit the game very nicely, and once you have gotten used to it, you will be tranking people from long ranges in no time. Nailed it! While playing the game, I learned not to shoot barrels next to the car that I need to protect. That, that is bad. Another super important game mechanic that I haven't touched on yet is YOU CAN SHOOT THE BIRDS! And there is so much more in the game that I haven't even touched upon yet. Like a very cool cameo in the game. What took you so long? It's Hideo Kojima, the creator of Metal Gear Solid, who just sits at the back of the plane after you get him. Or how there's destructible environments, people go exploding funny sometimes, tanks, melons, so much things! Ah! The game letting you be free is important because you can go in a mission and do whatever you want and just have fun how you want. It's all up to you. You can speed run the level or you can try to figure out something clever to do. And that's what's so great about the game. It has me excited for Phantom Pain. Metal Gear Solid 5 is a lot like a snack or an appetizer. It's not a lot of content, but what there is is very very good. It gets you ready for the main course or just something to eat while you're waiting. Now if you go into the game expecting a full course meal, 
Now you're going to be disappointed. It's not a full course meal. It's an appetizer to get you ready for Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain. That's why Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes gets a snack out of 10. Now if you go into this game expecting a full course meal, you're going to be disappointed. If you spend like 30 bucks on a meal, you know, you're not going to have a good time. But if you're expecting a snack, it's a very good snack and you'd be delighted with what you get. That's why a snack out of 10. So that's why if you can get the game on sale or discount or even free somehow, then it would be a great snack and you should definitely get it. Sure, you, you might be really hungry afterwards or you're still hungry after like eating that snack, but Phantom Pain is coming out and I'm hungry. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Now, if you like this video, you can always, you know, subscribe. It's a function of YouTube. You know, that's, that's kind of what part of YouTube is. And, you know, I have a Twitter and a Facebook that you can follow if you want to. And if you enjoy this video, why not check out my other review I did a long time ago. Hey, you Pikachu. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a review, that's for sure. Thanks for watching and stay classy. Tissue. Take the tissue. Take the tissue. It's Take the tissue. Take the tissue. Now eat it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that must taste nasty. My mouth is dry. <laughs> I gave you water, man. I don't know where it went. Just go to the kitchen, get a cup, and spit out the tissue, okay? Okay. Good. You you told me to eat it. Yes. I was joking. Don't take everything I say literally. Too bad. <laughs>